Hey guys, in this video, I will control a bulb which is connected to the ESP8266 board. Here, I will control this ESP through the Wi-Fi connection. So here you can see a GUI application that I made from the Python uh, TK Inter module. So when I press this on and off button, the LED respond according to it. So here you can see whenever I press this on button in the serial monitor of the node MCU, you can see according to it, uh, it is predicting some data. So the same thing I can do with my phone. So here I have PyDroid 3, which I downloaded from the Play Store. So it is basically a Python interpreter. So I will just open the file which I had made from the uh, computer and transfer it to the mobile. So I will open this .py file. So here you can see it is the same program that I have uh, run from the computer. So when I run this program, a GUI is displayed. So it is the same uh, which is displaying in my computer. Here you can compare both in computer and my Android phone is working well. So it's the same when I press this on button. So a request is generated from the Python URL lib library. So after generating a request, the LED responds to the request and according to it, I had uh, used many conditions. So here I'm uh, just turning on and off the LEDs. So you can make uh, other projects like this. So let's see its programming part. So in this video, I will cover the both the programming of Arduino and the programming of uh, Python. So let's start the video. Hey guys, let's start the programming of the Node MCU first. We will see the programming of Python later. So at first, I include the header file, which is ESP8266 Wi-Fi.h. Basically, if you want to use, uh, if you want to use our Node MCU for various Wi-Fi pro uh, projects, then you have to include this library. Then a constant char, then abstract or stark mark. It it will provide a constant pointer to the charge with a variable SSID. So SSID is the name of your network. So my name of the network is ZXR, whom we want our node MCU to connect. Then a const char password, then a variable password will store the password of that uh, network or uh, the SSID. So if your network is open, then uh, you can um, leave it as an empty string, then a const integer as LED, LED24. This 4 is the JPIO number or general purpose input output pin of uh, Node MCU, that is 4 number pin. Then after that, here Wi Fi status, Wi Fi. Okay, Wi-Fi server, then server, it will create a server that listen for our incoming connections on a specified port. In this case, I have specified a 80 number, so 80 is the port number in which my server will listen to. Then after that, in the void setup, I had uh, defined the LED as output. And then I had started serial communication with the computer with 1,15,200 baud rate or speed. Then I, uh, I print the serial monitor that connecting to the uh, SSID name. So it will just print in the serial or display in the serial monitor that your node MC is connecting to the SSID whom I want to connect or the name of the network. Then after that here Wi-Fi dot mode. So we want our uh, node MC to be in the station mode. That means it will connect to the access point or the network uh, whom we want. then wi-fi dot begin com command from this uh, wi-fi dot begin command we are we want to connect our node mcu to the network for uh, it will take two parameters first is the ssid or the service set identifier the name of the network then the password and then here is a while loop uh, in which wi-fi dot status so this wi-fi dot status command will return the connection status so a connection status that it will tell you that uh, your, whether your node MCU is connected to the network or want to connect or is in ideal position. So if it is not connected, it means WLN score connected. So it is not connected to the network, then a delay of 500 milliseconds, then it will print dot dot dot. In the serial monitor, your node MCU is connected to the network. So if 
the node MCU will be connected to the network then this while loop will be false as uh, it is connected uh, WLN is called connected so node MCU if it is uh, successfully connected that it will print in the serial monitor that the node MCU is connected to the SSID and from this Wi-Fi dot local IP, uh, local IP from this command uh, I will get the local IP address in, in which my server has begun then from the server dot begin command I am starting the server then delay of uh, 1000 milliseconds so I guess let's move in towards the void loop section so in the void loop section here is first command which is Wi-Fi client it is a function that creates a client that connect to our specified IP address and port number that we have declared earlier then after that uh, then after that here is variable client equals server dot available so this client will store whether any client is in server or not if it is uh, if anybody is in uh, uh, the server if a client is in server then this client variable will store one and if uh, there is no client then it's called zero so here is conditional statement if client equals equals one that means if a client is in a server then a string request is made which will store the re which will store the readed value or the strings which are readed from the client uh, request so here it is string request equals Client dot read string until end of line or slash end. So this uh, Wi-Fi client dot flush function will discard all the bytes that have been written to the client but not yet read. So then after that, here I am printing the serial monitor the request. So if the request dot index of so this index of what is index of so this index of is a method that returns the position of the first occurrence of a value in a string then after that if request dot index of led on is not equal to minus one then i will uh, print a digital write uh, led high as led uh, high digital write led high if request dot index of led on is uh, not equal to minus one then it will uh, uh, give high signal to the LED pin by digital write LED high from this command digital write we will control the uh, digital pin of the Arduino giving it high or low signal so here I am giving it high signal that means 5 volt then after that here I am printing in serial monitor that LED is on now then after that here I am using another condition in which I have uh, to uh, um, off the LED so for that I am using the else if command so here I have mistake uh, done have uh, I have to write else if I will correct it later so if request dot index of LED off if uh, index of LED off then if it is not equal to minus one if the index is not equal to minus one in which the LED off is located then it will uh, give low signal to the digital uh, pin uh, LED and then serial dot print LED is off now so it's basically a simple so I will give you a brief explanation if uh, the index of LED on so index of function returns the position of the first occurrence of the string value so if uh, the first occurrence of the string value is not minus one then it will give high signal so here I have connected I have written here else if then after that I will print the serial mind that client disconnected as if we have uh, checked this um, and then client dot disconnected so after that here I am printing a long line so now I will uh, connect uh, the node MC to the computer and select the port and upload the program so now I have selected the port and now I will save the, this uh, program after saving the program I will uh, upload the program hey guys let's start the programming of uh, the python now so at first i uh, imported uh, the tkinter uh, modules so that we can make the gui then after that here i'm using urllib.request i imported this library this will uh, define some functions and classes which will help us to opening the links that are mostly in the http format then here i have written the url name or the main url this is 192.168.4.3.141 this is the ip address which is this is a local ip address which is 
generated by the node MCU as it is starting itself at the server. So uh, here I have uh, using as a link in which I will generate a request from URL open method. Then after that here I am creating a window equals tk inter dot tk. So here I am I have created a window. Then a window dot uh, title. So I am giving the title of the window as ESP8266 wife with uh, python so it will be the title or the window name uh, from which the GUI will uh, generate and then after that here I have made a function that is a send request from this function it will take a parameter as URL which is uh, none other than uh, main URL and the re uh, request it will the combination of the main URL and request then a variable a equals url dot request dot url open so this url open uh, will generate a request to the specified url so here in the case we have specified the ip address of the node mcu server then after that uh, here i am using an infinite loop as while loop then after that here i have used a label uh, as headline equals tk inter dot label so inside label i will give the gui window name that is uh, window window is only the name then text equals LED control with the Python TK enter. So from this, uh, this name will be uh, uh, this label or uh, this name will be written as a headline in our uh, GUI application. So we will give it FG uh, foreground color as red, then BG as uh, so. No, no, we, we uh, will not provide BG. So we will provide a fancy text to it. So now I will opening the uh, notepad and now I'm going to use font section. From here, I will choose uh, some stylish font. So I like this Andrio or what anything. So the same spelling I have to write there. So that type of uh, syntax of the text will uh, be written on the headline of my Geo application. So after it, uh, writing this, I have to specify its uh, text size. So I will give it 25. Then after that, uh, from this grid function, I will define uh, its position, uh, the, whether it is uh, its column name, uh, column position, and its rows position. It will be present in the column number two, but row uh, in zero row. Then after that, here I am uh, making a on button from uh, tkinter dot button. From this button or method, I am uh, making a button. It will uh, take uh, the window in which we want to make. So here from then a text will be written on then command equals none so now uh, so temporarily now i'm uh, typing here none but later we will change this none by a function so now uh, so i will choose a font for the button too so I will liking this lobster 1.4 font so I will write here lobster 1.4 and its size uh, I will give its 25 size only then I from the uh, dot grid uh, function I will uh, give the position to it I will specify the column name uh, column number and the row number in which uh, the button uh, will be. main loop so the window dot main loop means ma the main loop command i forgot to add so that's why it is not running it is not even so nice so we will add the row as one of the button so if we run this uh, now it's looking uh, good so now we have to add the off button so let's add the off button so i will copy this uh, whole on code and sorry this what it's open so now i will open on on equal then now i'll make off button so everything will be same but the text will only change the color the font will be same so now from the create function i will create the off button too so 
so now let's run the program oh. the off button has overlaid the on button so we will change its row number to the tool so here it's looking great and good for me so here is the full program have i have completed now it's the time to add different functions so here i have def led on so now here is the function led on where we, we, we are going to generate a request uh, with uh, the main url so we will uh, generate a send request uh, in which we will add request url plus the request which we want to send that is led on so remember guys in the program of arduino we have used the index of function which will read the request data's index uh, so led on we have used there so same thing here led on and in the led off function we will send a request of main loop plus the led off so here is function of two we have defined now we have to configure this uh, functions to the button so here command equals that we have later uh, return the none now we have defined or we have uh, send uh, or we have just uh, defined its uh, specified functions that is led on and led off so here's the program of both python and node mcu has completed so hey guys here i have uploaded the program in the node mcu board so after uploading the program, I will open the serial monitor of uh, the board which is connected to the specified port of the uh, computer. Then after that here it is printing dot 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 that means it is not connected to the network. So here here it's connected to my phone SSID and its IP address is 192.168.43.141 which is same as the main via URL that we have used in the Python program. So guys uh, then uh, we will just uh, run the Python script and see uh, the respond according to it so now i will uh, run uh, the gui so here it comes and here i have to connect to the same network so remember guys that this uh, work in the same network uh, whether you use your smartphone or your computer but they will be in the same network so that the uh, data will be communicated this is not a IO, uh, iot or internet of things so after that we will press here on button and here you can see according to it the data is coming in the serial monitor but uh, error is coming this error is coming because in the web server that we have started from the node mcu we have we haven't uh, write any web page designs or any html programs that's why no response is coming